What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Steezy S. Smith in the building, and today we got a whole lot to talk about. First, let's hit the intro. What's, What's going, going on? on What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Steezy S. Smith in the building. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Team Steezy. Welcome back to another video. For those of you new to this channel, my name is Calvin Domingo. I'm an aspiring sports analyst. I talk sports, I write sports, I used to play sports. You get the point. But, ooh, we feeling good today. Shout out to my brother, Ralph Domingo, at Blends by Spirlo. Be sure to show him some love. And last but not least, and Team Steez would like to make an announcement that we are now partnering up with Season X Sports. Be sure to show them the love that you guys also show us. Follow my TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and stay tuned for more. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So, with the Milwaukee Bucks being now 0-3 to my Miami Heat, the elephant in the room must be addressed. Is Giannis Antetokounmpo a top five player in the NBA? Reason number one as to why he's not a top five player in the NBA. First, he has an unwillingness to guard the best player in crunch time. Game one, Jimmy Butler with 40 points and Giannis was nowhere to be seen. What sense does that make? He's the defensive player of the year. I understand he wants to do what his coach is asking him to do, and he's not asking him to guard Jimmy Butler, but you compare him to all the greats, MJ, LeBron, Kobe, Gary Payton, would these guys decline to guard the opposition's best player? No. And, and to me, that was just very puzzling. Uh, a reporter asked him if he wanted to guard Jimmy Butler or something along those lines. And he says, I'm doing what coaches asked him to do. What sense does that make? You're the MVP. You're the defensive player of the year. And you don't, you don't want to guard Jimmy Butler? With all due respect, Jimmy Butler, one of my favorite players. I love him dearly. He's at least a top 10 player, but he's not a top five player. Giannis, you can guard him. Guard him. What else is there to say? Guard him. Reason number two, no playoff success. Who have the Milwaukee Bucks defeated? Let's rewind back to 2018. First round, they sweep the Detroit Pistons, right? Blake Griffin did not play the first two games and he was not himself. So although they split the Pistons, what does that mean? Round two, they played against the Boston Celtics and emerged victorious 4-1. Kyrie Irving destroyed that team's chemistry. Jason Tatum isn't as good as he is this year, last year. Jalen Brown, same thing. Gordon Hayward wasn't playing. What does that victory mean? Nothing. And then last year against the Raptors, they win the first two games and lose four in a row. Going back to flipping the calendar to this year, they beat the Orlando Magic four games to one, but in game one, they lose. And now here they are in a massive hole, in a hole that no team in NBA his history has come back from 3-0 to win a series. No team has ever done it. And so don't look for the Bucks to do it tonight. They haven't had any playoff success. He has no playoff success whatsoever on his resume. So therefore he cannot be a top five player in the NBA. Last but not least, in the playoffs, his most glaring weakness is magnified. Literally, this game plan is being made to wall him off. And even in the games where he's performed well statistically, I feel like he doesn't make the best adjustments in game. He's forcing things. He's piling up high numbers, but his team isn't winning games. He's missing free throws. He shot terribly from the floor. And I understand that Mike Budenholzer isn't playing them. The number of minutes that he should be playing, the maximum minutes he's played in the series is about 36 minutes. As an MVP, as a defensive player of the year, we all understand that he's in rare company. He's one of three players to win MVP and Defensive Player of the Year in the same season, along with Michael Jordan and Hakeem Olajuwon. That's regular season dominance. When you're in the regular season beating up on weak team, you have to be able to translate some of that success into the playoffs. And obviously, the Milwaukee Bucks have not been able to do that. We all know that he struggles shooting the basketball. He does not yet have a jumper that's good enough for defenses to respect. And in the playoffs, that's magnified even further. Let's run it back real quick. The three reasons why he's not a top five player in the NBA is because he has an unwillingness to guard the opposition's best player in crunch time. The team has had no playoff success whatsoever, no real playoff success whatsoever in the last three couple of seasons. And his shooting woes are magnified in the playoffs due to the fact that teams are able to completely write him off a game plan and they're able to make him non-existent to the point where he's not as effective as he is in the regular season. Is Giannis a top five player in the NBA? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, if you guys haven't already or if you forgot to, Hit the subscribe button, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, share this video with your friends, family, anybody that might be into sports. That's going to be it for today, folks. Steezy out.